All right, let's look at uh, another one of the duplicate key errors, which I think this is up to three. There's there's all different kinds of ways that this error occurs, so I'm trying to make them as m the most pertinent as possible to your situation. This one kind of took me by surprise because uh, it, it's very similar to the ETL video, which I'm going to link the other videos in the description, so I'm going to make it really fast here. This one involves, let's say, transactional replication. And what's happening here is on your subscriber, you're seeing that there is a primary key error. Right? So you have a distributor and you have a subscriber. So let's imagine that we have a database and let's call it uh, data, let's call it subscriber database, and let's say it's it's table one. So basically what's happening is you have two publishing tables called table one that are publishing, or two publishers, I should say, publications that are publishing the exact same source table to the exact same destination table in the exact same schema and database. And of course, that's gonna throw a primary key error. Now, the reason why it might throw you off is because, I mean, at least <laughs> it depends on the situation, but like most of us know, well, you wanna validate whether something already is being replicated before adding replication. However, in a situation that you're seeing this you might want to check that. And that may be the last thing on your mind because if you go in with the assumption, well, nobody's going to add replication if it's already replicating, that, it, that may be what's actually happening. The other possibility that could be happening too is keep in mind that um, it could be that you have two publications, but the two publications are on completely different servers or on the same server. So let's imagine that you have a server one with the same database and tables and server two with the same database and tables, and both of those have transactional publication, uh, transactional uh, replication to a source database, the same source database, same source schema, same source table. And then another error that it could be is you have an application involved again with replication that you have an application that can also insert into the subscriber table. And it happens to insert the same primary key that already exists and it throws that error. In other words, the application is not designed to check if it already exists and then do an update. So there's different possibilities. And even though I try to cover every single one of them on this channel, there are things that even I run into that I'm like, I would, I mean, I would never have guessed because I would think that that's the first thing that, especially on the same server. Now I get it on two different servers, but on the same server, that would definitely be something that I would check before adding replication. So it's a good idea if you don't to always validate up front if replication to the same source database, source schema, I'm sorry, to the same destination database, destination schema and destination object already exist from that. Because if it does, you'll run into this error. If it's another server you may not know about, keep that in mind if you were to see this duplicate key error.